Okay, so welcome back. I uh, recently acquired these uh, this plastic, uh, but it's a, a scintillator plastic. It uh, has the property to glow when hit by uh, radiation. I've always wanted to try something, so I'm going to try to dissolve this in toluene and see if I can make a liquid scintillator. This is the 408, by, by the way, it's a BC408. Uh, and see if we can make a liquid scintillator and do some uh, some uh, better detection. Let's uh, let's put it in some uh, a beaker here and just uh, pour some toluene. I'm not exactly sure if there's any uh, uh, concentration that needs to be respected or any sort of things like this, but I'm just gonna eyeball it, see if it dissolves. Cover it up. And smell toluene all over the place. So yeah, so it worked. It dissolved completely. I put it back in this bottle of uh, toluene. So I'm gonna pour it into this small vial right here, and uh, getting ready to hook it up to uh, a photo multiplier tube and see if we can get any uh, any uh, any counting of beta radiation. I've been having this uh, PMT for a while, and since my uh, detector's down, I, I put this together. Uh, so this is a resistor or chain and um, it's attached the same way to the detector in high voltage. So it simply goes like this. Oh. So now I'm going to use this, uh, the solution I made. I'm just going to pour it in this, uh, in this beaker. Wrap this around the foil. Eh. As long as the light doesn't get in. And um, and uh, and destroy the signal. It's it's fine, you know. You know what I mean? Scintillator is in there, and then just like that, the uh, PMT goes into the solution right there. Oh, uh, there you go. Ah oh, man, you're not happy if you don't make a mess. Damn it. So this is what it looked like when it's finished. Uh, the, the liquid is is in here protected with this uh, aluminum foil wrapped around the electrical tape the PMT right there the photo multiplier tube in this uh, resistor chain it's connected as usual to the, the high voltage right here and the signal here and it goes into the uh, usual amplifier and uh, and then the multi-channel analyzer and it's powered by this <coughs> high voltage so we can see the uh, here's a radioactive source when I bring it closer we can see the uh, needle going up. Uh, this is a cobalt 60. And right there, there we go. Oh, look at this, this is, this is crap. Yeah. So that's a resounding failure. There's no need to continue using this crap. Maybe we'll find a use for it, but there, we're certainly not gonna do carbon dating on that. I've also tried with uh, barium-133, which has a much weaker spectrum than cobalt 60 and it barely register on the rate meter. So I also try with a, a pure beta emitter. I have some uh, uh, nickel 63 and they won't, uh, it won't even register. It didn't, it didn't even do anything. So um, I'm sorry about this, uh, this failure, but uh, I appreciate you watching and I, uh, and I hope to see you on the next video. There will be plenty more uh, fun experiment and I hope it will work out a lot better than this one and uh until then uh, please uh, rate don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i mean what do you say after a failed video like this it's terrible hey you know what this is uh this is what science is all about you're not gonna see only successful experiment on here there's there's a uh, there's gonna be failures you know